Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. Squarespace very recently made changes to the way their pricing structure is set up here in the United States. And there have been a lot of questions about how this affects custom code that we use on Squarespace websites. So I wanted to make this quick video to dispel any rumors for you. If you are on a basic subscription plan for using Squarespace, you can use your site-wide custom CSS. That's under Pages, Website Tools, Custom CSS. You are 100% good to go with your custom CSS code on a basic subscription plan. If you want to add custom code to an individual page, individual product, or individual blog post, you can use a code block, but you have to add your CSS to an HTML code like this, adding it between those style brackets. That way it's going to load as custom CSS and you can make changes to individual pages if you're on a basic plan. If you're on a basic subscription plan, you cannot use JavaScript and you cannot use code injection. That means page header code injection, site-wide header code injection, and footer code injection. You cannot use those on the basic subscription plan on Squarespace, at least at the time of recording this. But for those of you adding custom CSS who are currently on the basic plan, anything added to your custom CSS panel, totally good to go. And anything added to a code block that's CSS, using these HTML style brackets like this, your custom code will still load just fine. But if you're on a basic plan, you cannot use JavaScript and you cannot use code injection. I hope this video helps clear up any confusion. If you have any questions, just comment below.